It's all you, you know. You know how many times you've been the gridiron guest this fall. I mean, like every. Do you get something? Uh, uh, some from Johnsonville for being that guy every week? No, they give it to you. <laughs> I don't. I, I missed it. <laughs> Tim Tebow was with us. In case you were wondering, he is the gridiron guest. Uh, it's good to see you again. We haven't seen you since at Atlanta. So much has happened since then. Really, a lot of talk. Uh, a whole lot. And I, I know as a player. Uh, Bryce winning the Heisman. He Both did. Let's, let's start times. there. Since you, you, you've seen Bryce, you saw Bryce up there and obviously got to hang out. You got to watch uh, another member of the family join. Uh, what was that like seeing him? It was a really special. But I think what really stands out, Paul, is I'm not sure that I've seen the winner of the Heisman be as poised as Bryce was. Calm, cool, collected, very much like he was in the last minute of that Auburn game. And it's just so real. It's been so instilled in him, I believe from his dad at such a young age, is this, this mental toughness, this doesn't matter what happens to me, I can still get through it mentality. And it's special. Um, I, I really think it's Obviously, we know he's got an incredible skill set, and he's got a great arm, and he's very accurate, and he's very athletic, but I think maybe his best quality is that kind of calm before the storm. No matter what is coming against me, I can handle it. That's pretty special. You were always calm on the sidelines. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I was ever calm. <laughs> that's what, but that's who you were, though. That's I mean, right. that, that, But in, in his case, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's the California cool. I, I really don't know, but it, it is remarkable. Uh, it, it probably didn't hurt that he was the overwhelming favorite. You, yeah, you know what it's like help. when you're not 100% sure if you're yes. going to win or not. Yeah, and, and I think that he knew, but... At the same time, man, there's a lot of bright lights in, in a really awesome place. And there's a lot of people interviewing you. And for him to just continue to be the same and all of that, it's, it is really remarkable and special. So let, let's start with the, the uh, Cincinnati game because it, it is one of those weird games where fans – we're already thinking about the next game. Coaches are trying to st uh, yeah, I don't think that's knock it into their head. Yeah. As a player – uh, on the Alabama side, let's start there because you you know you're supposed to win, but you also you have to respect Cincinnati. You better respect Cincinnati. Are you more talented? Or are you probably a better team? Yes, but Cincinnati has played this year under a lot of pressure. They got a lot of hype in the offseason. They've gone through highs and lows this year. Even though they haven't lost a game, they've been talked so much about. They play very fundamentally sound. They've been in a lot of close games and found ways and spurts to be able to pull ahead late in games or in the third quarter of games. And, and I think this is a team that is well coached. I think they, they really believe that their style of play, offense, defense, special teams, are really a holistic approach, that they're good enough to win this game. And I think they're going to play with extreme passion, but also a calm of we have to – we, we can't win it on the first play. I think their mentality is, hey, we're going to slowly chip away. And the words that we hear from their coaching staff and their team – is toughness and grind, toughness and grind. And I think that's really what they're going to kind of hang their hat on. Besides fundamentals is, hey, we're going to be tough and we're going to fight for 60 minutes and we're going to embrace the grind of the highs and lows of the game. And you know what? We think that's enough. And I think that's really going to be their mentality. So if, if you're out there watching, you're thinking, okay, well, I, uh, that's good. Uh, but how does Cincinnati win this game? So I'll, I'll put it to you. I think Cincinnati wins this game if they can create explosive plays on offense like they've done all year, they've kind of been, you know, I don't want to say average, but just a good offense at times. And then all of a sudden they hit explosive play, explosive play, and put a dagger in somebody. And I think that's really their MO on offense. And I think they're going to give a lot of looks, a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, get two tight ends involved and try to give Alabama's defense a lot of different looks. And I think defensively, they hang their hat on being in the right place all the time. I just went through last night, their last four games. There's less than a handful of times that they had a player out of position. I mean, we watch get bowl games and I'll see in a drive five players out of position. And, and they just are very fundamentally sound. And then what they hang their hat on is because they're in the right place all the time, they get a tip and a pick. They get a force a fumble. And I don't think when you compare athlete to athlete that they're as gifted but I think they, they might be as confident, which is a big statement, because they believe so much in their scheme and the holistic together and that they just think something is going to go their way. 
And uh, we, we talked a little bit about their offense, and they, they have the quarterback that everybody is so impressed with. Uh, the defense, though, is what they, they, they make their money on. Yeah. Um, maybe not, not the right word for college football, <laughs> but, uh, but t t talk about what, what Bryce Young will face, uh, especially well, in the secondary. Yeah, they have two really good corners, um, a pretty good secondary, um, a, a, a front seven that um, – I won't say is super gifted, but they 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 play really good with their hands. Their linebackers are, are good players, but a little bit stiff. I think that if there's a mismatch for Alabama, I think it's um, Billingsley and Latu against the linebackers and maybe some receivers in the slot. Um, I, I think that's where just the athletic advantage for Alabama is very evident. But I think Cincinnati knows that. And I think they're going to find ways to compensate for that and almost say, okay, if you want to beat us, you're, you're going to have to execute and execute and execute and try to keep them away from those big plays. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.